Hello and welcome to Robot Carnage and the first of our semi-finals. This is the point where everything counts to earn a place in the grand final. So let's see who's made it this far who will be fighting tonight. Rotator so far has an unbeaten record, managing to mobilise Trillium's weapon before the bot itself and then taking out Disco Inferno by doing the same. The dual disc weapon setup is a great idea for those low and high attacks. Flatline has also managed to come through without a loss, throwing Azure out of the arena before beaching Tombstone onto the side wall. Definitely one to watch here. Atomic also in the same boat with a 2-0 battle score. Good push and power shown before Witch Doctor threw themselves into the pit, but then showed the power of the flipper by throwing Xerox over and out of the arena. And Mischief Mice, who do have a loss under their belts, but don't let that fool you. A pair of wild bots who like to confuse all they face, with Medusa and Pennant both ending up down the pit. And here's how they line up. The mice will face Atomic before Flatline take on the spinners of Rotator. So let's get down to the arena and start this semi-final. Mischief. The duo of mice has done very well to get this far, either that or it's just pure luck. They've managed to take on three spinners, but how are they going to fare against a flipper? Atomic. A real bulldozer of a robot. Not as fast as their opponent, but if Atomic can get underneath them, then we may see the mice fly fairly high. Roboteers, stand by. Three. And so here we go with the first fight of the semi-final, it's Mischief against Atomic. Now Mischief have come across spinners but they've never come across a lifter before so this could be an interesting test for them. And Atomic is easily more powerful, they can push them around, they can bully them around the arena. It's just a case of picking which mouse to go for really, attacking them both. And one of the mice run up the front of Atomic and got thrown across the arena just backed into the plough, and if it was maybe just a little bit closer, it might have gotten out of the arena. But it's still going, and now Atomic knows that it can easily beat the mice, and it's flipped one of the mice up and over, it can't get down from there, and there goes the other one, just attacking them both in tandem. The mice are immobilised, there goes the 10 second countdown. Atomic have managed to beat the mice without them driving down the pit, and it's Atomic that go through to the next round. Cease. Teasing the mice and turning them both over sends Atomic one step closer to the grand final. Now it's time for a flipper versus spinner fight, and I think it's going to be a good one. Rotator. The two spinning weapons make Rotator a tough challenge. They've went with a spinning bar on top for a more dangerous combination for this battle. Flatline has the speed and the power on its side, but it has to be careful as its back end is where it's most vulnerable, especially with the bar it's about to face. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. The spinner versus the flipper, and immediately Flatline have thrown Rotator up and over. Got underneath, a piece of armour went flying off, and Rotator landed the other way up, with the disc still spinning on the bar on the bottom. But has that hindered them in some way? I don't think their wheels are actually touching the ground, or are they immobilised? Flatline, getting them close, trying to get them out of the arena, and Rotator are back on their wheels more securely now. They can drive around better, but now, after that attack, they're going to have to pull something pretty impressive out to beat Flatline. They definitely have the better weapon here. No real damage seems to be caused to Flatline. And Rotator are very close to that pit. Will they go in? And they're in! Flatline just came along, nudged them, that was all they needed. And Rotator just backed in, one wheel over the edge. And that was it. Rotator landed in the pit with Flatline nearly going in themselves. What are you doing, lad? And it's Flatline that go through to meet Atomic in the next round. Cease. A flipping good time had by all, except Rotator, who will now have to face the mice. But first, it's a flipper frenzy with Flatline and Atomic. Whoever wins this gets the first place in the grand final. 
Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. This promises to be a very interesting battle. Both powerful robots, powerful flippers, and both managed to get opponents out of the arena. Will this be their tactics? Both machines tried to... And Flatline have flipped Atomic over, got into the side, and threw them over with ease, really. And now Atomic have got to get back over because they're too close to the wall. Flatline could get them over, and they're stuck on their back. Flatline have realised this, and they're trying to get Atomic out of the arena. They're beached onto the side. Atomic trying to get down, and Flatline have really got them out. Will they be able to do it with one final flip? And Flatline have done it! They're through in the grand final! The first robot through to the grand final with an out of the arena on Atomic. That was a great flip, and Atomic is beached, and that's it. Cease. Flatline performing another out of the arena earns it a place in the grand final. Atomic will have another chance to claim a spot, but who will it be fighting for it? Mischief or Rotator? Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So the mice face another spinner, but this time it's got two spinning weapons. One spinner for each mouse, perhaps? Trying to attack, and the blade has connected with the wall, and a piece of armour came flying off on its own accord, and this is not good for Rotator. Not a good start. They need to attack the mice. Everyone just seems to be a little bit confused. A little bit of a dance-off there, too. But no real damage being done. It's almost as if the mice are almost impenetrable, in a way. There's not really any damage being caused, and that's by several spinners. They seem to be able to keep going, and not... And oh, how about that? Got with the blade, and knocking one of the mice over onto its back, and this could be the turning point. Mischief mice have been very lucky in the past, but will they be lucky this time as Rotator is too close to the pit? And they've knocked the mouse over again. You were doing so well, and then goes one of the mice. Well, it was inevitable, let's be honest. One of the mice had to just drive into the pit, because that's just what happens. And this is the mouse that Rotator managed to knock over last time, so will they manage to do it again? Trying to attack, trying to choose which blade to go for. The undercutter or the overcutter? A little bit confused, a little bit befuddled. How do I attack? And they're both at either ends of the arena. And Rotator, what are you doing? Rotator have driven straight into the pit. They backed up. I'm not sure what they were thinking there. I just went forward and straight in. And they've gone out. Mischief mice are the most luckiest machines ever. Cease. I'm speechless. Rotator were doing so well, but a self-pitting has sent the mice into the next round, where it will have a rematch against the radioactive Atomic. The mice know what Atomic can do, so they will need to rely on trickery and good driving to get through. It's time for a vengeance battle. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. A vengeance match in our hands here, and this is to go through to the grand final. And immediately Atomic has thrown Maurice up and over, thrown over its brother <laughs> against the wall. And if it was just a little bit further back, it might have gotten back onto its wheels. And there goes the other mouse. They're both flipped over. And Atomic, right in them? Atomic, what, what are you doing? You'd beaten them. Unless you're just playing with them. Unless, oh, I see. The fight was over a little bit too quick, so keep it going just a little bit longer. Will they regret that? Will they regret doing that? Atomic, a little too close to the pit. Stay away from there. Mischief have been very lucky so far. I will be amazed if they get further than this. I think we all will, let's be honest. And Atomic, still a little bit unsure. Imagine it tip one of the mice. It is powerful enough to beat the mice. I think it's just toying with them. A bit like a cat to these mice. It's of, I know I can beat you, I'm just biding my time. And why not? Atomic going into the back. A bit of a 
A grab there, and a bit of a push up against the corner. Definitely just going for the one mouse. Take care of that one first and then go for the other one. Pushing it against the wall. Atomic trying to get the flip in. And oh, how about that for a bit of a somersault? Got underneath Maurice and through one, two, three times. Is that three times? Over and slam it into his brother. And there it goes again. They're very acrobatic, these mice. But not doing too much damage. There's not a lot of control either. And not a lot of tactics between the two. Spinning again. I've got to be honest. Oh, and there we go. There is one of the mice properly thrown across the arena. Just up and over. Slammed against the wall. And I don't think there's any way that Atomic will be able to get them down. Or if it wants to get it down. The fight has been going on for a, a while now. And throw the other mouse over. They're both near the corner. And Atomic is leaving them alone. And the countdown has begun. On a great fight and a great competitor. Well done to the mice. But Atomic go through to the grand final. Cease. The two flipper robots, Flatline and Atomic, have made it to the grand final. Thank you all for watching, and join us next week where our second semi-final will take place. See you then for more Robot Carnage.